Hi guys, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. This is 15 facts you need to know about acorn ants. Temnothorax nyandali. Hi everyone, welcome to my video on 15 facts about acorn ants. In this video, I'll be talking mostly about the species Temnothorax nylanderi, as well as other variations of acorn ants. 1. Acorn ants live in acorns. As you guessed by the name, these ants are commonly found living in acorns. Although this is their most common place to nest, they can also be found in small logs and rotten wood sometimes. Find out later on in this video to see a surprising place you can find these ants. 2. They are found across the UK and EU. These ants are widespread across the UK and Europe. Although they are fairly common species, they are harder to come across in the wild when looking for them. They are very small and require a very close look when spotting them. 3. These ants are tiny. As I mentioned, these ants are really, really small. The workers range between 2 to 3 millimeters, and the queens range from 3 to 5 millimeters. It can be really easy not to notice these ants when exploring. 4. Acorn ants have something called intercasts. Unlike a lot of common species, they have something known as intercasts within the colonies. This means that workers can reach varying sizes, sometimes even a mix between a worker and a queen. This is similar to polymorphism, where colonies can have different sizes, known as casts. The difference here being that there aren't any majors or minor workers, they're just a mix of varying sizes. 5. Colonies don't usually exceed 500. This species is so small that they tend not to reach larger numbers, and due to their choice of nest, on average they will not reach more than 200 to 500 per colony once established. With most colonies, you'll find less than 100 individuals. 6. Nuptial flights don't happen until August. Most species of ants will have their nuptial flights in June to July, more than once over a period of a month or so. When a colony reaches a population between 500 to 1000, these acorn ants don't have their flights until late August sometimes, although some colonies will have earlier flights. This is when the male and female alates go out to mate. 7. Acorn ants also live in rotten wood, branches and acorns. Acorn ants will predominantly nest inside acorns, by finding cracked or damaged acorns with an entry point, or making one hole themselves. They will burrow inside and create cavities as tunnels. Sometimes, if this species cannot find acorns to nest in, they will use a small piece of dry wood, usually a broken log not much larger than a 30cm ruler. They sometimes nest in pieces of wood with cavities already made by previous insects living in the wood. 8. Some species of acorn ants don't go below ground during winter. Unlike most species in the UK and Europe, which go underground to hibernate during the winter months, these ants sometimes stay above ground and face the harsh conditions of winter. Sometimes even pieces of wood and acorns get completely frozen over. This is a very risky process for the colony's survival, but these ants are really hardy and can survive the tough conditions of winter. 9. Acorn ants don't require a lot of space. These ants don't need too much space and follow basic tandem running. I talked about this in a previous video. They follow very small trails and don't stray far from the nest. Considering the incredibly small size of these ants, it's easy for ant keepers to have a very small setup. 10. It is a less common species across the UK. These ants, in the varying genus of Temnothorax species, can be hard to find in some places of the UK and Europe. These ants, unlike Lassius niger, Lassius flavus, and Momica rubra, are much less common to find and considering their specific nesting sites. When trying to find this species, you'd have to go to more specific habitats. Bearing in mind these ant populations are much harder to track, considering they are so small. 11. This species is monogene, a single queen colony. Although this species is usually found as a monogene colony, these ants can be found with multiple queens too. In the case a colony is found with more than one queen, this is usually down to either a freshly mated queen that has been adopted by a colony, or when multiple colonies separate and queens end up in different unrelated colonies. 12. 
This species absolutely loves honey. When keeping these ants, I found that they absolutely love honey. They don't even like it watered down, they like pure organic honey. They also really appreciate when I give them a dead fly. 13. This species is easy to care for. Acorn ants are not hard to keep and do not require a difficult setup. They are a small species which should be fed every three days or so, with a mix of sugar in the form of honey or fruit, as well as protein such as dead flies, mealworms and crickets chopped up. You can boil them to be sure you remove any harmful nasties from the insects. 14. These ants can be found in your kitchen. Yes, surprisingly, although these ants require a unique nesting place, these ants have actually been found in kitchens and homes. 15. Acorn ants prefer a certain type of setup. These ants do prefer a certain type of nest. They will be happy with just a test tube. But these ants do prefer to nest in acorns, horse chestnuts, and small pieces of dry or rotten wood. If you're interested in keeping these ants, be sure to have a look at my shop. Acorn ants are now in stock with different colony sizes. So, I mentioned in my last video about brood boosting. I have two Lassies Flavus queens which I caught recently from nuptial fights. I always find that this species is slightly weaker than Lassius niger when it comes to surviving hibernation. Of course, this is just my opinion from my own experiences of keeping these ants over winter. So I stumbled across a giant Lassius flavus colony of at least 20,000 workers. So I decided to just take a few larvae and cocoons for each of the two queens I caught. What this does is it allows these queens to get a head start when founding their colony. These ants, once emerged, immediately believe that this is their queen, and as young ants, they've been brought up by this queen and have their pheromones placed on them. They will not know any differently. This helps the queen as she has less stressful time founding her colony, knowing that she has a few workers to help. So guys, instead of an update on all my colonies this week, I'll just show you a few new queens and colonies I caught. Here is one of the acorn ant colonies with just a queen and a few workers. This is a former Kafuska queen, freshly caught from nuptial flights. I was recently asked if I was going to do an update on my colonies. If you guys would like to see this, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video.